the point P parentheses 2 comma minus 1 parentheses lies on the curve Y equals 1 divided by parentheses 1 minus X parentheses if Q is the point parentheses X comma 1 divided by parentheses 1 minus X parentheses ends the bracket use your calculator to find the slope of the secant line PQ for the following values of X 1.5, 1 1.9, 1 1.99, 1.999, 1 2.5, 2.1, 2.01, and 2.001. Alright, so just like we've been doing in these last couple of videos, we want to do the rise or the run, which which are doing that to find the slope of the secant line. And so we're gonna use this equation here. This equation says Q and Y minus P Y Q X minus P X. And the reason it has this is because we're going to use the values of X. Look at this is X. I'm going to use this one. I'll show you this one first. This is X and this is our Y. And then we're going to use our x and y for q, the point q. And these are all q's. All these are our, our q's. So we'll use this color for q. Well, this is our q's. And if we were to draw a graph, I'll draw a fast graph. We're trying to find our tangent line. So let's see. Let's say this is our point P. We're trying to find our tangent line right here, but we need to get as close as we can to it by bringing these secant dots or the slopes of these secant lines closer to here. And so we want these dots as close as possible to P. And that will give us an approximation of what the tangent line really is. That it converges because we get so close, with the secant line converges with the tangent line. So that's what we're trying to do. And here's our general form for our equation after we plugged everything in. So minus two, which is the x, minus one, which is the y. So that becomes a positive one. And so this is always going to be on the right side. And right here, we have x that's given to us from the equation here. And this is given to us from the question. And so now all we need to do is start plugging in the numbers for our function. So we have our slope. M P Q M to P it says reads P to Q which equals one divided by one minus one point five. So remember this all these values are of X and the points on the graph Q when plugged in to the function. So when these points of X are plugged into the function there be the points of Q. And so we're gonna do that but we're trying to find the slope of the secant line. So let's keep keep proceeding to the problem. So 1.5. So 1 divided by 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 divided by 1.5 minus 2. And we do basic arithmetic. So 1 divided by minus 0.5 plus 1 divided by minus, minus 0.5 equals negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 0.5 which equals negative 1 divided by negative 0.5 which equals 2 and so let's see here 1.9 mpq and so we proceed to plug in the numbers and we end up with 1.11111 and we're only trying to find the values to six decimal places so this is to six we do 1.999 and we're trying to find, what is this again? The secant line, right? P 
P2Q. We're trying, to try and we're trying to find the slope of the secant line from P to Q. As we can see right here, P to Q. Alright. And we do basic arithmetic tick again as following. And we end up with 1.011010. 1 and this number, remember what this number is? This is our X number. And we get it from over here. All right, so we start over here again. So remember, this is our our equation, and this is just our general equation, form of our equation. So this is our, our general form of the equation. But what this is called this is called the point slope form. So don't get this confused. This is the point slope form. I'm just saying general form because we already have everything plugged into it. All right, so now remember these are our x's so that our x's get plugged in into our function the function the following function is the point slope form of our function and we do basic arithmetic so as following you can see what's happening here and we end up getting the approximation of 0.666667 we have our x right here we plug it into our point slope of form of our function and we ended up getting this for our secant line the slope of our secant line we do it right here again 2.01 and we get up getting 0 0.990099 and the whole point of doing this is because we're remember what I said earlier we're trying to get our points closer and closer to P and what happens is it's a limit what happens with the limit? It ends up getting. It's a special word we use in math. It's called converging. And so what's happening is these two dots, they're converging. I mean, these dots are converging together, the these secant lines, and they end up becoming the tangent line. All right. So now we got two more problems right here. Remember, this is our x. We do the slope. The slope of p to q. And we ended up getting this for our slope of the secant line. Let's see right here. So we're doing the x. This is our x. And then this is our slope of the secant line from p to q. And we end up getting this slope of the secant line. And so it's asking us, using the results from the secant lines, guess the value of the slope of the tangent line to the curve at p parentheses 2 comma minus 1 parentheses and so if we were to take a look at these two so this one's 1 1.99 this is 2.001 these are converging to the number 1 so we know that and this question is asking using the slope of the tangent line p find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at p1 minus 2 and so what are we going to do we're going to put it into the point slope form and so not in the way that it's right here but in a way that it's usually seen, best seen. Kind of a standard way to see it. So I'm pretty sure you guys remember this. So we just gotta plug in our numbers, so. We already know our slope, or this is the slope of the tangent line, 1. And so m is going to be 1. And these are our points already given. This is x, this is y. So it will be 1 plus 2. Equals 1. x minus, what is it, 1? Yeah. So then we just simplify. 1 plus 2 
equals let's see x minus one simplify a little more and that ends up equaling y equals x minus three and so that sums it up for our problems if you enjoyed this video I would appreciate if you like my video and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and it would help my channel grow. If you have any ideas for the future and this and content, please let me know down below in the comments. Thank you and I hope I can see you guys next time.